All right, Kurt, where you at? Okay. Not Kurt, Neil. Whichever, whichever one you are, you know. Does you know you have a root beer? Sorry, Kurt. Yeah. Sorry, Kurt. Sorry, Neil. <laughs> he bought this, but he's like me. He's impulsive. One's not enough. One's never enough. So this is for t-shirt and jeans. And since Kurt's about to start dress, the dress code, we're going to get him a dress watch, maybe. Or a dress, or a dress watch. That's crazy. Or a Ooh. proper dress watch. The dress watch. <laughs> the dress watch. Dude, yeah, I mean, this is... That frosted. Oh, it's dope, man. No, might have to pull the trigger. It's the heavy. I told you. Yeah, it's got but, some weight man. to it, too. Yeah, so what was your... You were about to propose something. That, which uh, which AP? The rule of... I can bring it back tomorrow. You're in tomorrow, right? Uh, yes. I can bring it back tomorrow. Oh, the one you've got? Yeah, I got it from you. Was it the camo one? No, nope, one the camo. So it's the rose was, gold brown. It's like that one. Okay, yeah. send me a picture of it. Yeah, okay, send so, me a picture of it. All right, so what's your proposal? Don't know yet. I might keep it and I might just get the... Get the frost. That frosted man. Yeah, I'm not. After looking at the frost, it would be this one. Of all those, yeah, yeah. it would be. I mean, they're all dope. But that thing right there is. You'll never see anybody wearing it. It's the main no, thing. No, and the weight is what. Yeah, when, you, when you take all that plastic off, and oh, it's it really, it's another mm -hmm. one. Go ahead, rip it off. I got out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, rip it off. <laughs> That's yeah. like driving it off the lot. Yeah, you break, you buy. <laughs> you break, you, you, you break, you buy. You rip stickers, you, you buy. Tear up. What are you doing? You pay. Oh, you there you go. I like that. I like that. You haven't been drinking yet today, have you? No. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm going to put this back up. Will you come no, back tomorrow night? No. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is the I guy. Here's, here's who you sell these watches to. Is this guy on nope. a Saturday night? Nope. You've taught me too well. After a few uh, tequila nope. or whiskey. What is that? Tequila whiskey. or whiskey? whiskey? Whiskey. Get a few uh, McAllen, 20, uh, McAllen 30s in him and yeah. boom, he'll take this at full, full, Nico full ask. Nico, copy your eyes. <laughs> Man, I wish you, if you had, didn't have such a bigger wrist, I would tell you to buy this because this has long term, long, long term upside. Not long term. Yeah, this has really huge upside over the next year. This will. It's 115 now. With this will be. Yeah. It's a it's a Vacheron overseas a Vacheron Constantin overseas perpetual calendar white dial. The oh. blue dial. I had the blue dial back five months ago, and I, I bought it for eighty thousand. Three months later, prices went crazy. Like the the um, not prices, the brand like just. All yeah, of a sudden, started story. getting all this kind of recognition. I sold it for one hundred and fifty thousand. Oh my gosh! Bought another one. Sold another one for one hundred and forty. It softened up a little bit. Sold another blue dial for one hundred and forty thousand. The white dial's trailing. So these were, <laughs> these were. I couldn't sell this for eighty thousand eight months ago. It's one fifteen to one twenty. Uh, one fifteen to one twenty today. By Christmas next year, it'll be. 160 170 get get that get that woman the ladies president and i'll get it the white gold yeah, okay white gold Just okay show me the dollars dude i'll get you dude you know what i got an idea yeah. when i do my million dollar sell do it all that day dude we'll package this with the ladies press good for a massive discount absolutely yeah absolutely look at no, this well, hang on i got a better idea is that ladies yes dude watch this turn right, around turn around, day, turn around. Here we go. watch this i know this guy really well oh, hang on don't look he just had his company. So he just sold part of the company. He's doing well. <laughs> I'm only teasing this guy because I know what kind of dumb money he spends in Vegas. When he gets, I mean, how many hundreds of thousands at Panerai and Hubel have you spent? Way too many. You ready? I'm usually drunk. Well, fuck you up. His and hers. Oh shit. I mean, how sexy. Both Eric guys too. That is both true. both chocolate waves. Yeah, it's freaking dope. I think she'd actually love this. You want to take it home and show it to her? No, I'll just buy it right now for you. Sure. Yeah, well, let me wire it. Just hold it. Do you want to take it home and show it to her first? No. Make sure she likes it? No. Nope. The AP, send me a picture of the one you bought, okay. and I'll tell you what I would buy it back at, or if I can just sell it real quick. That's fine. Because if obviously if I sell it, it. I love yeah. it. If you love it, I mean, yeah. I saw a place down there that had tables. Dream Cafe? Yeah, they have. Like breakfasty food. Like sandwiches? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to go down there and eat. Okay. Right cool. This. this will be waiting on you. I'll box. Okay. I'll box it up. Okay. She'll yeah. want it. I know she will. Okay. And How much are we selling that for? Which one? The ladies. I have to check. I don't want to give you the wrong answer. That's an old black one. It is. That's a factory diamond dial, though. Is it factory? Yeah. I'll be damn sure. Which one? You don't like Daytonas, do you? They're too small. 
That's what I thought. That's freaking badass. The platinum. That's that's exactly what I was looking at for you. And the nice. Okay. All right. Well, Dylan's like super excited to throw this carpet out. So. Throw it out, man. Hang on. Well, hang on. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> I knew it was a rainbow. Let's see. With no throw it away. Oh, it's fake. That's oh, fake news. <laughs> it's aftermarket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, there you go. That actually makes it, it actually livens it up. Yeah, y'all can hype up in here. You need to write a thank you card. You need to. The rule, the rule is packages, I've instructed Sutton, that packages do not go out without showing your appreciation for business. Bro, I'm on top of it more than he is. Huh? Are you? Yes. Are you, though? <laughs> when I write, when I'm done writing these thank you cards, I then call their mothers and thank them for having them as a client for us. So they had them having them as a kid, having them as a kid, <laughs> raising them to be my client. There you go. Just how you raise a kid. That's exactly how you raise your children. Right. Our clients. <laughs> <laughs> the rug does look kind of cool. Actually, it livens the. Uh, yeah, it livens this office up. We just need to get. We'll get rid of this. This goes to that picture frame, right? Yeah. When they come today, I'm gonna to go through all that and get everything out of that. Sutton, you're doing a kick-ass job. This package looks fucking cool. Bro, guy, Who taught you to wrap packages? This guy wraps like my mother. Bro, you're wrapping all of our Christmas presents for. Yeah, Marcus said that too. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, you are wrapping our Christmas. I don't even want to wrap my own Christmas presents. So what's the buy? But this guy thinks. I don't want to hurt the market right now. Okay. Oh. Okay. But let's just say it's a particular watch that they overpaid for. I'm not gonna say what it is. Who overpaid this time? Because he's busy moving and playing with tech decks, he's pricing shit too. Uh, I just listen to what I'm listen, being told. I, you're not. You what? <laughs> hey, I want to say, yeah. <laughs> no, say something really cool. You want to follow? That's why I told you you need to put him in the wholesale group and make him a buyer for two weeks. That way, when Alfred gives him a stupid price, he'd be like, "Hang on, Alfred, you check yourself." I will teach you that. Now. Hey, start doing this. Yeah. Do that. Hang on. That was that was weak. Go back. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Why does your finger do that? <laughs> All right, you guys know I'm a giant nerd about vintage watches, so I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. Come All with right. me. Everybody, no, no, just just the camera. Sorry, the rest of you guys can watch later. Like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, uh, where is it? This this watch. I know you've guys seen this watch before. Early 1960s GMTs, but I'm gonna show you guys something really, really cool. So, there's a lot more to vintage watches than what the eye can see, right? When we look at these vintage watches, you know, we look at everything from the condition of the dial, to the loom, to the case shape, but there's something even further with these older watches. Anthony, you're gonna see something cool. Anthony's filming, by the way. There's a bunch that goes into looking at vintage watches and it's there's a lot more that meets the eye than just looking sometimes we have to pull out some scientific equipment this is a geiger counter we're going to turn oh, it yeah. Is, you're about to do. yeah let's see let's see so if this watch was ever relumed or was ever altered in any other way we wouldn't get much of a reading we would just right now the ambient or i guess how I'm still learning about the Geiger counters, but basically, <laughs> basically, this is what's you know what the room is picking up right now. 0.05. So let's see what happens if I stop. Oh, what's going on? It's starting to go up. Oh, it's starting to go crazy. So. This watch is emitting radiation. It's not enough to hurt you, but it's enough to be picked up on to authenticate the dial. So in the late, late 50s, up until about 1962, 1963, Rolex watches were uh, using radium, which I'm sure if you've guys seen on Netflix, there's a TV, there's a show called Radium Girls. Um, this stuff was highly toxic back then. This stuff was killing people that were producing it. They didn't understand it back then, so they were using it on watch dials. They were painting these on the dials, and um, actually the United States outlawed this material to be used on consumer goods. So uh, it was very common for Rolex to send out letters recalling the dials and the bezels from the early, early GMTs so that they could get this stuff off the market because it's potentially hazardous to the public. So some of them that still made it through um, 
you know, it's great for us because we get to still, you know, experience the collectability of what actually was original and wasn't recalled. So again, it's still radioactive to this day. This is almost the final concept? I think it's, or it's the final concept? Thing, there's only one thing to fix on it. What's that? In post-production. Um, we noticed that when I put this big of a watch in, it's collapsing okay. that book area. Okay. So we're going to probably drop that down another quarter of an inch so you don't get that flex in the foam because I just think it looks bad. Oh, yeah. Your books will still get in there, but I would rather not have that angle. Damn, so, that came out good. We went a little bit bigger with the font so you can see it a little better than the last iteration. This was really skinny and that one was a little Let's thicker. See it. The logo looks pretty cool. Yeah. And then underneath the watch is a serial tag where you can choose where y'all want that in the final production cost. So you pull that out. We can also change the pillow. That's the best one I could find for a good I actually price. like that. No, I like that. It it's looks, because yeah, when it sits, cool. it matches, yeah. Right. And then you got this, which we can choose to put anywhere you want if you want it to have some kind of presence on the front, but we had talked about just having it on the bottom. I'd underneath. say put it on the bottom in the middle. That cushion works good. I mean, it, 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 it I fits. I don't like the seam, and I don't like that it's a hexagon, but out of everything that we well, bought, that was the down. best option. This is box, too, right? Mm. Yes, so. Oh, there is? You asked for it. Now, that's obviously not the price, but we already priced it out, and this is a mock up of what we have our people on standby. You will have a outer sleeve, a bo black box, and then this telescoping box Damn. with y'all's logo. Yeah, that's that's, that's fucking cool. cool. Yeah. It's these pieces, but that's what it would look like. Yeah. So yeah. this yeah. sits inside that? Yeah. Damn. Just like and it's white. Like box. And it's white? I thought the white would be a good I think pop. The good. I like it. Because when you open up, you get the black. Then you get right. black. Yeah, I like that. So this just goes in there and then keeps your links underneath it so it's hidden, and then you drop your watch or whatever you want down in there. 